Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're going to go Soul Stone crazy on both my accounts right now. I've got possibly the most I've ever pulled on my main account coming up. I've also got 10 cheaty ones on the free to play. But before I do it, before we do that, I just want to show you the next set of Marius missions, which if you've already done Arbiter, these are going to be coming in, I guess tomorrow, might even be today, honestly, but I guess tomorrow because the patches are going out. And generally, as soon as the patch goes live, this stuff will pop up. So it could be today, could be tomorrow, could already be live by the time this video goes out. But I just want to show you this because there is some stuff in the missions around souls and other stuff like that. So just be, just be aware that it's coming, okay? So we've got some iron twins clearing there. Nothing about actually pulling souls. Ascend to accessories, attend to artifacts. There's nothing to do with souls there. Interestingly, actually, I hadn't noticed this. Clear stage one of the Iron Twins void. So it is going to be like day related. Yeah, force void. So some of this stuff is just going to be a straight. I've got to wait until the right affinity pops up. Hadn't seen that before, actually. So yeah, let me just see if there's any stuff around ascending or pulling souls. Earn 1,500 mortal soul coins from the fortress. That's fine. Clear stage five at this point on different affinities. Annoying it doesn't say five or higher. We have fed that back to, to Raid, actually, to see if they can change that for those people that are already doing higher levels. Earn coins again. Earn coins again. So saving up your mortal soul coins is probably worth doing here. There's a bunch which just say spend mortal soul coins, yeah? Um, let's just see if there's anything about actually obtaining souls in this first section. Purchase two souls from the merchant. So again, saving up your essence uh, rather than splurging it all might be an idea if you're looking to go for this guy. Okay, so in the first 60, there's not anything about pulling souls. Right towards the end, there is a, an Awaken a Champion to Level 2 mission. So it might be that if you've got one and you feel like you can cruise through some of this stuff, this is going to be weeks of, of time, I think, because of uh, some of the time gating stuff they've got in here. But I just just, just wanted to make sure you were aware there is some soul related stuff in here and probably the next batch of missions will start be like, you know, pull a level three soul or something, stuff like that. So just be aware of that before you go all in on souls. Make sure you are absolutely informed. Right then, let's start on the free to play account. As I say, I've got 10 soul stones uh, saved up on the free to play once I do my conversion here. And at the moment, I do have like low level souls on. Well, I got a level three soul on my Rathalos from that Titan event thing we had. I got level two on Dithy, level one on most of my epics. Yeah, so I guess someone who I really would love to get a soul for is White Queen and Cora. Even a level one. Yeah, even level one, no matter what I put on her, which will probably end up being something like Intimidating Presence, the extra stats are huge on the you know, lower level accounts. And if you've only got one legendary, Brimstone is huge for any account. So um, you know, any legendary getting at least a level one soul is really, really impactful. But I'm thinking for my wish list, getting a higher level. So I'm going to put Ancora on there. It's actually not that many others where it's like the next level up is going to do a lot of work for me. So I guess I just focus on people that are definitely going to be in my long-term clan boss team like Sepulka. Sepulka is the main one that's long-term for me, honestly, for clan boss. So Sepulchre, maybe I throw in and try and get a higher level of uh, Golden Reaper, albeit that's not that important. No, no, actually, it's quite difficult. Quite difficult to think of your witch list. And now that there's an eight times chance in here, it's, it's not brilliant, but it's, it's better than it was. So, you know, it's, it is some value to actually get those higher level souls. Maybe I keep him in as he's my solo champ right now. Put Sepulchre in like that. I guess Juliana's my other one who's most likely to hang around. For a soul, these are all good. These are good. So yeah, so we've got eight times chance now for your wishes to pop up, and we've got the awakening boost where we've now got a better chance only of getting six star souls. Nothing else has changed. I think they've ripped it off at the bottom, added it to the top, and it's only for mortal and immortal, not eternal. Okay, so again, you might hold any eternal soul stones you've got for something different. Up to you. So let's let it rip. We got the ten for. The free to play. Anything from my wish list is the first question. 
Anything good is the second question. One star Mordecai from the wish list. One star Juliana from the wish list. Confessor. I confess I will never use that soul. Um, <laughs> what is going down there? Is there anything that's actually an improvement? No. So it's all stuff that I already had at the sort of levels I already had. And honestly, on the free to play, like even if I was to sell all of these, everything I've got, which is currently basically useless to me, which is a fair chunk, I don't earn enough to make a difference anywhere else. So I hold on to them. If I see someone in the soul merchant as an upgrade to someone I've already got or a newbie that might be useful, then I'll consider selling the souls that, you know, I just don't need anymore or, or probably will never use like this chick. But until that happens, I'm out to leave them in here. I guess the Raffalos one could just go. But anyway, I'll leave them in here until I need to do something else because why not? Right, let's move on to the main then. Uh, just see if I actually earn anything worth earning here. Was there anything? Did I get anything out of this? I got 300 energy. That's actually okay. By the way, that is being stored. That's just hold until the fusion pops up. Yeah, because the fusion events were just holding. I'm also doing an energy hold from today because I did just get a 500 energy uh, splurge. So fusion kicks in tomorrow. I may as well hold some resources until day one fusion. See what we can get done on the main. As I say, this is one of the biggest soul stone pulls I've ever done on the main. And I think is actually way, way more worth, right? Of, of an event. Now that we've got a higher chance to get six star souls, we've got the wish list actually doing something. And I've got a good chunk of souls to use. Always worth just checking the market when you're in there. I guess what I'm looking for here on the main are big souls or champions that I use a lot in areas like Arena, Hydra, Curse City. Yeah, places where I can make a real impact. And if we're getting back into live arena, because we're kind of forced to, then arena style champions as well. So, you know, for me, someone like a Fushan would be a good soul to pick up. Someone like a Stoltus, higher than a level one, would be really good. Uh, obviously, my main arena nuka since recently is Narsus. Uh, if you saw that video, because he's absolutely nuts. I do have three star on him already, but four plus is kind of where it gets big. So he's going on the wish list. Harima, very strong. Newt, I've got a level three, wouldn't mind higher on Newt. Like there's, there's a whole bunch where getting higher level souls would be massive. I've got two Acrisias. One of them is only has a level one soul. What's my other Acrisia got? Uh, one's got a level three. So again, Acrisia would be a, a big one to pull an additional copy of. So this is what I've got. I don't have a soul at all yet for um, Ancora here. So she's in there. Anyone in terms of epics, it's really... Fire Knight type champions that I've been putting in. I've already got a max soul on Seer. I've already got a high level soul on my God Seeker. So you're going to be looking at, for most accounts, it's like Clan Boss, Hydra, Arena. Uh, and if you're late game, like Doom Tower and, and Sintranos type champions that you use a decent amount. Generally, damage dealers or people that need high level setup, like Cruelty, high level setup, like uh, Phantom Touch. Yeah. So those type of. Uh, souls do make a big difference. I remember Dark Cow in here as well because he's got some interesting poison stuff going on nowadays. Gold Heart's pretty much the only rare that I consistently use, so she's in the mix. Let's do it. Let's do it. I thought that there's actually a fix in the patch notes that those tournament points are no longer popping up. I guess that's after tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I should have made this video tomorrow. But we've got Vlad. Okay. I think I've already got a higher level Vlad waiting to go on when I max him out. Dark Cow from the wish list, the one star. Keep getting those one star wish lists. Let's go. Got some gold. Queen Eva. When does she get a buff? When's she on the buff list, Raid? Come on. Another legendary here. A one star Drex. Already got better than that. It's funny, the free-to-play likes shard pool events. Yeah, you get way more benefit out of a free-to-play for pulling champions. But the main account, this type of event is potentially more worth than shard pulling for me. You know, in terms of actually progressing the account, if, obviously, you get something lucky. But I've got more chance of getting a progressive uh, kind of like soul pool than I have getting a progressive shard pool on my main account. 
So it's pretty trashy so far. Do hit some gold. Even a one star, honestly, on the white queen would be good. Just keep going. We want to see a big number in there, really. Like, you want to see the thousands in there. Another Drex, no thanks. You definitely, there's got to be some sort of bug in the system. Like, I feel like my mythical champions just come through again and again. I guess it's just so few mythicals. I don't know. But anyway, it feels like we see a lot of mythicals. Like I've got four star souls waiting for nearly all the mythicals. Two star black knight, five star avenger, no thanks. We're not avenging anything with that. Come on. Come on. Something worthwhile. Another two star gomlock. I've actually got him six starred already. Laz, I wouldn't mind a Laz. But I need the champion first. Another mythical. Got higher than that already on her. Not much going on so far. One star Whirlim. <laughs> I can actually plus four Whirlim, but one star is not going to make the difference. Come on. Something massive. Give me one. One of the golds from the wish list. That's what we want. Even like a one star Ancora would be big. Lady Mikaj, I've already got a better soul than that. I'll tell you what I am doing, though, which is different to what I used to do because of the Cursed City now. I do, I do throw the souls on anyone that I pick one up from. Like I used to just get rid of all of the rares and all of the epics that were champions I didn't use a lot. The Cursed City's made me kind of rethink that. Lorica don't own. Well, we know it's something bigger in this one. 530 points. What we got? A five-star Rorik. Rorik's a bit of an interesting champ. Three star Snick Track, don't own him. Another legendary. Triple legendary. A Drain, don't own him. The Rorik one's interesting. So I think I need to make some room. Okay, let's go again. So, yeah, normally for this type of event, I'd be converting all of this into more Soul Stones, but I'm saving it because of the new mission lines. I'm going to basically turn it into Essence instead. Just so that I can get a, a quick push on Marius if possible. Live Arena might hurt me on Marius because I've not been doing Live Arena. So we'll see. A couple of legendary ones. Okay, so we've got a four-star Ancora. That's actually sweet. That's really, really nice. She can come off the wish list. Damn, that's really cool. Okay. Okay, that's decent. Let's put uh, Fushan in here. Fushan, Fushan, Fushan. What color are you? Throw Fushan in. Okay, nice. Nice. One off the wish list. One ticked. Four stars big as well. Four stars starts to unlock uh, like a decent level of, of the blessing. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Alas, wouldn't mind him. Absolutely bonkers champ. In there. Come on. Better than expected already. Come on. Three star Dark Kale. I think that's an improvement of what I've got. In gold straight away. The three star Pixneal. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Not much else. All right, what we got? Four star or above on the, the White King is really what I'm looking for. Two star versus Solf. A six star War Maiden. Could have done that one on the free to play, maybe. I think I actually bought my upgrades on Seer from like three star right the way through to six. It's the most impactful thing. You can do it's insane how much of a difference moving sear up uh, does okay not much there come on have a legendary a nari do have him I don't think i've ever used him actually since i since i actually picked him up i didn't do the fusion for him he sat in my vault since i picked him up is that a mistake let me know the frost bringer actually used her in one of the amius rotations Oh, 21 points. This is just a click through. 21. Are we out of room again? No, no. Just out of summons. We are getting a lot of juice to summon these six, and then we can move on to the mid-tier ones. Do hit gold. What have we got? Another Dreng. <laughs> For some reason, my account, I don't have Dreng. I've pulled him so many times. Uh, an insane amount of times. Another mythical. 
Another copy of Crixia, probably had her about 10 times as well. Two-star survivor. Okay. Last one of the babies. Another epic. Eurodrim. So I've got 39. I'm just going to top that up to 40. Just using one of my set of juice. And then we can go straight in with... Uh, have I got space? Yeah. Straight in with 10 or oh, four temples. Come on. This is the big stuff. We've got the Ripper. He's going back around. We've got the Bog Walker. They, these are not the six stars I need. Rear Guard Sergeant. Actually kind of a decent one to make six star. And we've got a three star Drazor. That's actually the star rating that I've already got on him. I mean, in fairness, like one, two, three, six stars. Four six stars in a temple is pretty nuts. It's a shame they're not gold, but that's kind of nuts. What else we got? Come on. A five-star Norog. Buff the Norog, please. Such a fun champion back in the day. Four-star Fushan. I'll take it. That's actually pretty cool. Three-star Tyrant. A three-star Totora. We could switch out Fushan here. Who else is low for me? I've got... Maybe we go Harima. Trying to get the higher rating on Harima. Oh, this is a juicy one. There's a lot of points here. What have we got? A six-star Lanakis. Damn, that's actually cool. Great champion. Five-star Maud. Oh, mama! Six-star on the Narsus. Let's go. Wow, that's actually insane. Wow, that's actually full-on craziness. Right. Wow. There he is. The wish list is working, guys. The wish list has come on. Damn it. That's actually massive. Wow. Woo. Okay, that is absolutely humongous for the account. That is absolutely off the charts. Right, okay. So I guess we're going to throw in my other champion that I use a lot. Woo. That was absolutely a massive pull right there. One last temple then. We can't, we can't get better than what's already happened. Like, it's impossible. I've, I've actually pulled a good chunk from the wish list. Really pleased with that. Three-star Genzin, that's actually pretty decent. Neldor from the wish list. I think I might have that level already. Let's just check it out. So Fushan getting a four-star. Gives him a ton more stats, by the way. Like, another 40-odd percent crit damage and attack and stuff. So that's pretty massive. For Fushan particularly, I really wanted Crushing Ren, which would be like a five or six star, but Narsus now at six star. Any, if anyone's watching this who's like an avid high-level PvPer, what are you saying? What blessing do you take now? What, what does that change for you? Does, does that make, I guess Crushing Ren's in, irrelevant in PvP, so it might still be something like a Heaven Touch, um, or is it Heaven Touch? Is that the word? I think that's, I think that's the right one. Anyway, I need, to, I need to play around with what we're going to do. Ankura going up to the four. Beautiful. Absolutely massive. The Lanakis going up to a six. Absolutely massive. Use her in a, a bunch of stuff. Gensin's grand, grabbed one level. And then I've got a, a few where... Oh, it's Norog, we might as well throw it on. Who knows when we need him? Maybe for some Sintranos stuff. Yeah, we've got some upgrades. We've got some upgrades on the account. Anyway. There you go, guys. All of my soul stones probably... Oh, it, I guess it shows when they do events like this, it actually matters, right? It, it makes a difference, especially for people that pull a decent amount. But um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully they continue with this type of enhanced rate event because it's the only way it really makes soul stones worthwhile for, for the average player or for any player. Anyway, there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you soon.